Hi everybody, AG6AG here. Today we're going to take a look at Contest Online Scoreboard. This is a website that allows you to post real-time scores right there from your logging software. Anyway, the site is ContestOnlineScore.com and we're going to show you how to get it up, get it working with the two logging programs that we've been talking about in our field day series. So, here we go. Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate setting up uh, real-time score updating to the ContestOnlineScore.com website. So, the first thing we want to do is open our browser. We're going to go to Contest Online score.com that's contest online score.com and there we go now if you have not registered for an account go ahead and click on register your profile they're going to ask some information um, and you uh, may or may not have a club entry in here um, we'll just go down here. I happen to know because I've used this before and I've set my club inside of my program that my uh, Ventura County Amateur Radio Club is in here, I believe. Let me take a look. Ah, there I am, Amateur uh, Ventura County Amateur Radio Society. Let's see if someone from Seavark actually has done the same thing. One second... Let's see, not yet. So again, don't worry if your club isn't here. The first time you submit a log from a logging software that allows you to enter your club, it'll be there. Um, anyway, to set up your account, you would put in your call sign. Uh, I'll use uh, KM6CCI uh, just as an example here, um, and that would be uh, my XYL. You put your name out in there, your email, come up with a password, enter it twice. Obviously, select that you uh, are in North America if that's where you're at. Um, if your club is there, great, select it. Uh, don't worry about the team just yet uh, unless somebody tells you what the team is in advance. Um, click on I am not a robot and register. It's that easy and it's free. It's going to send you an email. Click on the uh, link in the email to verify your account. So I've already got an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'll pop in my username, which is my call sign, and of course my password. And bada bing, bada boom, I'm in here. So right now, there are no current contests because I'm filming this in the middle of the work week. But what um, what I can do is I can select a previous contest, I believe. Let's see. Uh, I think there I am. There, It's almost ready to fall off, but the Florida Cuso party, and this is everyone in the Florida Cuso party, including me. I participated in it. Look at that. And it's I can click on it. It'll show my graph. Obviously, I didn't do great, but I had a lot of fun, and that's all that counts. Um, also, some of the more cool features here is I can go over here to the clubs page, and I can search down, and again, uh, I'm registered under the Ventura County Amateur Radio Society. If I click on this, I'll only see other club members. None of my other club members participated in this and posted their scores up here. Such is life. So with that, let's talk about how we configure this, okay? Um, let's take a look at, oh my goodness, help with logger setup software. So these are all the packages that they support right here. You've got all these different logging packages that supports direct upload. Um, if you don't have one of these packages, you can also, believe it or not, you can do a manual post and put your information in right here. So that's kind of cool. 
um, and you can do that occasionally just to get your scores up there for people to see. So the most important thing to remember with this is uh, where to basically uh, set up your link. So if we go to, uh, let's take a look at N1MM+, Plus, it shows us how to do that right there, what we should configure, what we should choose, and how we should put our info in. Very clear and straightforward. And of course, we'll click on the uh, other logging software that we've been talking about, which is the N3FJP software. And this tells us the same thing shows us how we should set this up and it gives us the URL. So I'm going to get ahead of the game here and I am just going to copy this URL. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and let's go in to N3 FJP to our settings. Oop. Oh, it's got the nag for the money. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, we're going to go to other online score sites under web upload contest status. And it told us to use number two, so I'm going to do that. I'll go ahead and paste the URL in. And then, I don't know, is my password visible? No, so I'll, I would put my password in and then enable it. And then, of course, hit test. And let me, let me go ahead and put the password in. And test it. Okay. So it is working. All right. That's all you got to do. And you'll be able to certainly uh, do the stuff that we do in the contest to post everything in real time. I'm going to go ahead and bail that info out and go ahead and get rid of it. Of course, there's always additional setup you're probably going to want to make and stuff like that, but uh, we'll cover that as we go more in depth on this software. But I wanted to give a quick start on that. Let's do the same thing with N1MM. So let's launch N1MM. Remember when I talked about this thing always wanting to do updates? Well, here's the perfect example. And I'm going to go ahead and do this because it's important that you see this. Um, this is the process. You're going to do this a lot with N1MM because they are correcting issues with the software all the time. And they're also adding new features and new contests, which is fantastic. All right, we'll say finish. Here's a change log. I'm not going to look at it right now. My software is opened up. I'm going to go to config and config all my controls. And by the way, we're going to have a future video that's going to cover getting a lot of this stuff set up. So I want to go to score reporting. Score distribution server. Now, if I click back here, you know what? That's what I have it set to. And then I just put my username and password in and I change my intervals. So I would put in my call sign. And then I would put in my password, but I know better with this one because it shows the password when I type it in. So I'm not going to do that on the video. I'm going to slide this down to two. I'm going to make sure that it's enabled. And when I click OK, it'll verify that it can connect. I'm not going to actually set it up on here uh, because I'm not putting in my password. It's going to crash out. So I'm going to go ahead and say cancel, but that is how you do it. It's that easy, not hard at all. All right, and let's see. Let's show one last thing before we get too far in here. I want to show you how to get data out of here. You notice that I have one contact in there that I put in earlier. Uh, let's say that I move to uh, 40 meters. Remember how we do that. I'm going to put in my frequency, 7213, and hit enter. And then I'm going to, it automatically changes to lower sideband. See that up here in the top? Now, if it didn't, I could always go LS uh, 
uh, B for lower sideband and hit enter and it would change it. Or if I'm doing something crazy, I could even put uh, upper sideband and it would change it to that. But we're not doing that. This is lower sideband. That's where we're supposed to be. All right, with that, let's see. Let's, uh, let's talk to N6PK. His exchange this year is a 1E. So I'm going to go ahead and hit tab. His class is going to be, I believe, 1E. And his section is also Santa Barbara. I'm using all my friends here. Hope they don't get mad. And I hit enter. All right. Just like magic. But at the end of the contest, I'm going to want to get this data out of here. So how do I do that? Well, I can go file. And guess what? I can export. I can export to an ADIF or to just a generic file. Or uh, I can print score summary to file, and I can export key files too. So what you're most likely going to do if you're going to try to get it into Logbook of the World or whatever is you're going to export to an ADIF file. So if I click on this, it gives me the option, and I'll just call it ag6ag.adi, bada-bing, bada-boom, and here we'll see. under export files there that is let's open that with uh, let's see I'm gonna open it with a text editor uh, more apps notepad we'll just open it with notepad and you can see there it is standard a diff all set for you to do it with the condensed ID and the information that we got for each of the QSOs all right. Now, the biggie. This isn't so big with field day, but with other contests, they all want it in Cabrillo. How do I do a Cabrillo? Oh my gosh. I click on generate a Cabrillo file. It asks me, this is the exchange we have down that you're using. Is that the one that you used? Absolutely. My category is single op, non-assisted, unlimited transmitter, all bands, modes, uh, with a fixed uh, low power station. But that's not right. That's not right. I ran assisted. I need to fix that. So to fix that, it's just this easy. I'm going to open the log. Remember, we talked all of these things can be changed. I'm going to change this to assisted. Everything else is right. I double check because sometimes it just wants to change things. Oh, and you know what? I only ran sideband anyway, but that's all right. This doesn't matter. This is just for the display. I'm going to click OK. Now, when I go File, Generate Cabrillo, it's going to ask me the same questions. There's my exchange. There I am, Assisted Unlimited, right? I'm all set. I click OK. I'm going to save it. It's going to go in the same exports directory, and it allows me to email it directly from here, or I can edit it. Guess what, guys? Here's the Cabrillo file. It's done. You don't have to mess with it. You don't have to muck with it. Everything that's in here that is typically associated with the contest is right here. All right? That is super easy, and that's one of the reasons that I fell in love with this software. There are others, and I'll show them to you. All right, well, what's left? Let's go ahead and take a look at N3FJP. It's a cool little software program. I'm just starting to grow on me a little bit. Um, it isn't quite what I would like, but again, for ease of use, this isn't bad. So I've got some QSOs in here. Let's go ahead and see what it takes to get them exported out to put in my daily logger. So I'm going to go down here, and there we go. I'm going to export an ADIF file. And I'm going to go ahead and just overwrite the one that I did as a test. This looks fine. Continue. All done. That was easy. Pretty painless. How about a Cabrillo file? Let's see. All right, a lot of stuff to fill in here. It's asking me basically to fill the form out that I'm going to also have to fill out on the web. So I probably don't need much of this. Um, 
It also has a dupe file, which is good. Typically what they want to see at ARL is a dupe file, but you can submit a Cabrillo file as well. And for other contests, that's what I would submit, would be a Cabrillo file. All right, so it's, oh, hey, this looks familiar. Ah, you know what this is. This is all the stuff that I put in when I set up the contest in the other program. Look at that. All right. Well, that explains why this is so fast and easy to set up. You're doing everything at the back side, not the front. All right. Well, let's go ahead and write it. There it is. Very well. And it gives me a summary. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. Well, with that, I think we've covered both programs, at least to the extent of basic use. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, hey, thank you very much for tuning in. Well, that's it. Hope you liked it. This is one part of a bigger plan that we're trying to put together this year for field day in our local county out here. Most of the clubs out here participate every year in field day as a group. With the coronavirus, we're not going to be able to do it this year. It just isn't going to be safe for our members. So this is one more tool that we're trying to pull out of our toolbox to be able to get the same kind of camaraderie, excitement, and competition that we get when we all operate together. If you like the video, subscribe. If you have a comment or a question, please put it down in the comments below. And with that, this is Stu, AG6AG73, and back to you.